Hi. OK. Um, so in the program, it seems that the conversation uh, is titled The Absurd and the Urban Transformation. So uh, we, we actually, we just learned that today. <laughs> but uh, we were looking at the etymology of uh, what, uh, where those absurd comes from. And it seems that it's like singing out of tune. Uh, so anyway, we hope to do some unusual things tonight. Like we're going to play a game. <laughs> OK. Before that, perhaps I just want to show so a couple of slides or videos of Antanas, uh, who para qué? Pues para que la ciudad sea bella como la quisiéramos. Así lo recibió la gente en la calle. Con sus propias supermanos llevó la basura al sitio donde debería estar, no en las calles de Bogotá. Con sus superpiernas se subió a un muro para mostrarnos la contaminación visual que debe ser prohibida en vallas, en edificios y en casas. That was, uh, uh, can, you, can you explain what was going on there? Well, <laughs> Colombian newspaper organized a concourse uh, asking to, to people to identify good five behaviors on a page of drawings and, and good, good behaviors and bad behaviors. They asked me to help them a little bit. On, on the deep level, they were helping a lot the mayor's program about citizens' culture. But uh, it's not my fault, N neither it's my aesthetics. It's just a, I accepted a proposal of a journalist whose imagination was uh, freely working. Uh, I accepted to do it for five minutes. In the night, Colombian press wanted to, me to repeat it. The next day, international press wanted to repeat it. <laughs> on, on this third occasion, I just walked close to a church, a small church, and they were filming me, and a woman that was passing by said, Mr. Mayor, please work. <laughs> <laughs> To be amused by, by aesthetics is dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I think there's an, another small clip. Cada persona se une esa semilla de moral y esa preocupación por responder ante los otros. La dignidad. With a background in philosophy, Mogus turns Bogotá into an experiment in political theory. According to him, there is a disparity between culture, law, and morality in Colombia. People throw garbage on the street because it's morally acceptable, or people act violently because the culture does not condemn it. Mogus wants to change people's morality. Hay una cosa que se trabaja en la 19, que es la persona que se mete en el nudo en, en la intersección. Pues el, el, el que no quiso esperar el siguiente turno y obstaculizó. Esa persona yo creo que merecería la tarjeta roja. Todas estas actitudes que para quienes viven en Bogotá ya son pan de cada día, serán en adelante sancionadas. El que se queda, aunque tiene espacio vacío al frente para que puedan pasar los otros, a ese mostrarle la tarjeta blanca. A medida que afinemos ese diagnóstico, podremos dar el mensaje social de qué comportamientos son los que más impacto tienen sobre la congestión. Which, that, that was another uh, big, you, you turned the city into a big uh, game where everyone was taking part in flashing cards 
evaluating each other's behavior. Yes, normally things that are hurting, like paying taxes or like obeying rules, uh, was solved. Problems with those things were solved by inviting people to, 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 to play. Uh, redistribution, for example, is very hurting. You want to, to take your biggest part as, as possible as you can, and they also try, it's like jumping on the resources. So if you in, in, introduce the, the, the game feeling, it changes. Normally, redistributive political discourses with a little bit of hatred or resentment. It's, you are the rich, we are going to take from you. Like the, the fight for social justice is always a little bit bitter. Yes, so in this case, the idea was everybody puts, everybody takes. Mm -hmm. So the proportions, the idea that the rich has to pay more was to some extent put at the side and the main idea was everybody has to play. Well, let's explain what, what we have here. This is a, a, a dreidel that you had made when? Well, during my first campaign, it was the biggest investment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we, our expenses, expenses were $12,000. And more than half of the $12,000 were in this. And I have, in this moment, still some pieces. So it was very e e efficient. Why? Because a very important press uh, news program in television had this shown in first plan with the main journalist explaining it saying everybody puts, everybody takes. He says, I think it will work. Actually, I won two elections promising more taxes. In the first, I was just uh, taking fun, in, in some sense. I, I have the, the pleasure of, of making something absurd. Uh, the second time, it was more, more difficult. There was an economical crisis, and they had to convince people that in the moment where economy is slowing, the social investments are more important. Uh, so we, this originally has six phases, and it's a hazard, uh, what was that? In, a chance operation. Uh, a, a, a chance game. But we put a seven phase. The phase everybody takes was not in the ori original Pirinola. Um, so when we put one phase more, it has seven phases. So now you have two sides that, that are shown. Well, we, we can play. Yes. You have combination of ha uh, azar, uh, okay. of uh, randomness or chance. Yes. Let's get. Let's start playing, and you're gonna have the same amount of coins as I do, right? Yes. Okay. You go first. So, in the traditional, there is a result, and you you have no decision. In in the new Pirinola, I have to choose between put one and take off. Well, in this case, I put one. I'm gonna take the dreidel now, and what I get on top is either take one or everybody takes. So I have to take anyway. So I'm gonna take the coin you put. Okay. Everybody takes, take one, there is no nothing to to be taken, so I go. Take one, everybody takes. Go. And the, you know, it's, it's important to explain 
you have to put. Yes. That <laughs> <laughs> you're going to put one or two? I put two. All right. That a t take one. Okay, I'm going to take one. Or it's either take one or every or actually, I'm going to say ta everyone takes. So you, I take one and you take one too. Okay. Okay, it's either everybody takes or put two. I put two. I'm gonna. I thought you okay. You choose to put two. Take one or take two. I'm gonna take one. Altruism will spread. <laughs> put one or put two. Let's put two. Okay, put one or take everything. I'm gonna put one. I believe that if it like it's one of the It's not a rational subject. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, because the rational thing would be to take everything, no? Because uh, that would mean that yeah. I'd have more coins. But if I take everything, the, win the game ends. Yeah. That's, that happens. You won't take. <laughs> <laughs> But okay. if, now, let's, I mean, what I understand that, w that is what you did is, was called 110% for Bogota, no? That is like you requested citizens to pay a 10% extra of taxes. And actually you managed to raise for uh, the, the tax recollection, I think for 30% above the, the usual, because the big in incentive for, uh, for citizens to pay extra taxes was that they could choose where that extra 10% could go. So that got very excited and actually there's, of, there's an office that you go and pay your taxes. So that became a kind of casino <laughs> where when you went to, the, to, to, to pay your taxes, you, would, you were given one of these coins. Actually they say, the year when they were made. And then you could go to a table where this game was and have this kind of game as we're playing now in order, so people could actually have a decision of how the public budget were to be spent. Is that right? Yes, well, it, one was putting one face more. Everybody takes. The other idea was it, this market here, public resources, sacred resources. It's making this a sort of costume. But, but what was the name of the, the, the cookie that you have in the, in the church? Or the, no, what is it called? Waffle? What? <laughs> yeah, well, I, I prefer costume, but... but. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's, it's okay. well, the, the waffle becomes a holy costume in the moment of uh, sanctification. And that was not a secondary problem. It was in the wars, uh, French wars, almost 100 years, Protestants and Catholics fighting because the truth or not of the transubstantiation. Charles Sanders Spears and uh, William James were discussing, were disagreeing strongly on the, what happens with the hostel or with the waffle. For Charles Sanders Spears, the waffle is the, exactly the same waffle as it was before the, bened the benediction. But for William James, who was psychologist, and was a son of a uh, preacher. Of a preacher, it was very clear that a consecrated wafer is different in its consequences, in its effects, from the other. Well, perhaps we can ask, who thinks here that it's worse to steal a consecrated costume compared with a non-consecrated costume? 
Yes, but you have to ask which one first. Like, let's say, like, first the question is, who believes that is worst or is the same? Like, so. Yes. Okay. Well, let's say, what, who thinks is the same? You can raise your hand. Some people. One, two, three, four. Who think? Five, ten, maybe twenty. Yes. If it, it's it's worse to steal a consecrated costume, or it's the same stealing a consecrated and a non-consecrated. So now it's like uh, you have, we are asking now who, what, if it's worse when it's been <laughs> consecrated, right? So yes. Uh, yes, okay, who raises their hand for a consecrated, consecrated one? Some few. You, this is like, a, uh, if we were to ask perhaps like if it's like a, for instance, like an artwork that we sign or not sign, maybe they would <laughs> like. <laughs> well. The, the, ma the main line ca can be it's the same, pretty much. it's pretty much the same bad, but you can opt out and you can say, in my case, it's, it's worse to, to steal a consecrated costume. But I do not feel that I have convinced <laughs> nobody. <laughs> so, <laughs> Well, but, but, I mean, like, but the point that you're trying, that you were trying to say, perhaps, is like in the context, is that that there's always been a kind of, a, perhaps, society has been more forgiving with the fact of that public resources are wrongly spent than actual like uh, theft of uh, private money. Mm -hmm. No, so so the the. You, what you were trying to say is that, you know, like paying taxes is the biggest uh, proof of love to your country, which is a kind of very radical idea because people hate paying taxes. Yeah. No? Well, imagine a society where people are in despair in the morning, waiting for the moment where the door is open in the tax co collection office. You wait for hours like b before a, a concert or... It's possible. <laughs> we, the council of the city didn't approve the taxes I proposed in my second term. I asked people to pay 10% more real estate tax. It was called voluntary taxes. In Spanish, it's fantastic because it is impuestos eh, voluntarios. So, impose it, <laughs> voluntary, that's absurd. <laughs> but it worked, 63,000 families put 10% more tax. Ne next year, well, the council were scared. So they approved the proposal of taxes because the second step, the next step, was making big manifestations, people wanting to be taxed. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure that that would have beautiful consequences. Well, so in planning sessions, we used these coins, market, public resources, sacred resources, and people had a small piece of paper and they had to classify where they wanted the city's money put and where they wanted things done. In some cases, people were putting the paper for social justice, but putting the money on roads. So we, well, and very frequently people got the money in the pocket. And at the end, we had not 100% of monies, but 80, 85%. So I asked people, perhaps you inadvertently have taken <laughs> coins. I, you, you, you can bring the, them now. 
<laughs> uh, and if half of the missing coins were given back, a second time, Colombian anthem. Oh, gloria inmarcesible, oh, jubilo inmortal, en surcos de dolores, el bien germina ya, el bien germina. En surcos, my English is completely for, forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> well, in the middle of, of pains, the goodness germinates. So, well, we illustrated the Colombian hymn by a small act where some people got back public resources. In this moment, this has a problematic status because this was made with public money. And I'm using it outside of its original definition. Some arg argument would be that the city could have destroyed it instead of destroying the new government's people gave me about uh, perhaps 2,000 or 3,000 coins. Uh, this is market only for putting, not for taking. So we... So, I mean, like, let's play the exercise of, uh, of uh, allocating these resources. Let's imagine that we have these resources. How does it work, the budget allocation? Do you want to begin? Sure. People pay taxes. And normally they choose to pay the less possible. Mm -hmm. It says like, for instance, I can either take two or take one. Let's say that I take two, and now I can choose where to put these coins. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna put one in healthcare and one in art. Okay. Put one or take all. You, can, you could take all. <laughs> I have to put in only one? I, or I don't know, you have, you, you're free to choose. That's the, what the game is about, no? Yeah. So <laughs> I take the decision for all. Uh-huh. Yes. That's not very democratic. <laughs> <laughs> it's, there is a big temp temp temptation. Normally, One for security. Everyone takes or everyone puts. So I choose that everyone takes. So you can take some. And now we can choose where, how to put them, right? Yeah. So I guess that if you've seen that there's like a lot of coins that have went, for instance, for education, then you may want to, you know, like just like spread them evenly. Yes. Well, one of the interesting things is if you do not see how other people vote, you vote quite d differently. Mm -hmm. Many people wait what is the decision of, of other and then follows. And another part of people reacts by compensation. They say, if, well, in this moment, it's <laughs> art. A lot of budget for the arts. <laughs> Too much money for the arts. <laughs> Yes, so how can we make sweet redistribution? How can we, well, in Colombia, the, the rich people from time to time 
sometimes five years, ten years, they said there is two big differences. Let's help to reduce. There is songs and things that illustrate very well the attitude of some of the lead, of, of the leftist uh, leadership is you are not going to give me nothing. You are going to return me what is taken, what is mine from secula seculorum. Mm -hmm. um, well, there is sometimes violence because we do not wait. We do not have the patience of waiting, people accepting redistribution by, 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 by good means. Um, so that's why it's very important the idea of the voluntary tax, no? That, yes. That, that, that is like a choice, an invitation, I guess. It's like a, like a Kickstarter or a crowdfunding uh, <laughs> organized yeah. by the government. Um, Yes, uh, how do you call the, when the group makes an agreement through internet to going to a place to make a, a flash mob? A flash mob. <laughs> so, imagine a flash mob with taxes. <laughs> <laughs> well, For those who want to take one of these as a souvenir, we can, we, we, uh, and, uh, and play the absurd, you, you, you can take some, so long as you take it with your mouth. Public resources. Public resources. <laughs> Public resources. 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 Serious. I'm not joking. I'm radically convinced that humanity cannot arrange many of its problems without taking a look to religious tradition. And the connection between art and different religious tradition is. Do you remember the text of Nietzsche? God is dead. We have perhaps to convert that text a sort of praying of every day. At the end of the day, read Nietzsche's text. 
this is reusable. <laughs> Gracias.